Hey there, I want to take a minute and talk about the Cattery toolset by the Foundry. The, this is the machine learning tools that they released a few years ago. And while they're incredibly powerful, I don't see a lot of people using them, which is a bit of a shame because not, they're not necessarily perfect and, and production ready for the most part, but they can still be very good time savers and they can um, they can help you block stuff out or they can you know help you out in a jam when you don't have a, a neat video uh license you can just you know run the denoise algorithm which is actually pretty decent in most cases there's a couple for upscaling which do a pretty good job although they're very um hardware intensive and, and memory hungry and smart vectors hit or miss but most times they are better than than just the standard uh, smart vectors and then there's stuff like the modnet which is the human matting one which is really good and I find myself using quite a bit as well as the depth estimation the Midas here so I'm gonna you know just bring shine some light on this just you know I, I encourage people to go ahead and, and test it uh, because it's it's definitely part of my my tool set and I I always try to keep it on the back of my mind it's like it's something I can just quickly block out with anything from Cattery because it, it does save you a lot of time so I, I'm going to show you a few examples here and I'm going to start with the modnet one this is the one that generates mats from um, from anything that from the from people in plates right so uh it, this is going to be slower or faster depending on your hardware right and most of these nodes are very very hungry uh for memory and they can sometimes hang your nuke session depending on on what you're running so just keep in mind that some of them have this optimized for speed and memory uh option here and i you know i definitely uh find myself using it depending on 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 the tool um one it seems to be pretty good and this is only an hd plate so it's very forgiving um but if, as you can see, Modnet does a pretty decent job, even looking at all that hair detail that it's quite to see, quite hard to see. And this isn't the best footage; it's a very compressed MP4. But still, it, it does a pretty decent job uh, of just grabbing a quick alpha of of the people, right? And uh, it does surprisingly a good job. And it doesn't really chatter as much as other shots. Doesn't mean that you're going to be using this as final roto. But it is good for you know, to to get started to you know do tests and and stuff like that. So uh, then we have the Midas, which is also pretty good. And this uh, the depth estimator. It just creates a depth map from from your plate. Again, hit or miss. It doesn't necessarily always work the best, but when it does, it does a pretty good job. And you can see it it even grabs the structures back here and does a pretty good job. Um, so you can do stuff like you can you can just quickly uh, throw that onto your your uh, C channel, your depth pass, and then you can just click through stuff like that. And it's it's quite interesting that um, even though some it does it does chatter, you can do a lot of testing with this. And depending on your shot, if it's something very still, you can get away with even keeping it in your script. Something to keep in mind with these tools is that you definitely want to uh, pre-comp all of these. You want to write out the results. You do not want to keep these live in your script because they are very, uh, like I said, very uh, memory hungry. And I, I promise you they're going to be, you know, slowing you down by a lot, if not completely crashing Nuke. So, um, but you can see this is this is pretty powerful. Like very quickly, you can just, you know, t uh, test stuff out and it's 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 very good as long as, as you know where to use them and it does take you know some trial and error but that's why I'm, i, I want to do this video just to put it out there that you should be downloading these they're free and then that you should be not only downloading them but testing them because something some can do more than than initially meets the eye and um yeah, so Midas and Modnet definitely find myself using quite a bit. Like you can, you can just grab a depth pass from Midas and then just use that to add some, you know, like fog in a scene or something like that. And it does a pretty good job. Even if it chatters, you can just blur it to hell, and then at, at least everything sits correctly in space. So 
I find myself using it a bit. Uh, next, I, I want to show you the face makeup one. And this one uh, on the website, I believe, only says it grabs stuff from, from, from the face and body. But it, it actually does more than that. It, if we look at the, if we look through the note here, it doesn't it look like it's doing anything. But if we look at the layers, you see there's layers for uh, clothes, accessories, eyebrows, eyes, ears, mouth, and face. And again, all of these tools are hit and miss sometimes. And if we, if we look at the result for, for the face, if I turn on the hair, You'll see it's a bit of a mess, so this is not, not necessarily the best example, but some, you know, might get lucky, and, and sometimes it does work pretty well, just you know, just grabbing the hair, right? So, um, well, you see, this is pretty good. Like it, it punches a hole in, in in the eyebrows, the eyes, and the mouth, and then you can you can actually uh, even if we if we switch here to the eyes, right? Uh, you you get you know mats for those for free. <laughs> um, and then there's the eyebrows again pretty decent nothing earth shattering but the fact that you don't have to do anything and you just have them is pretty helpful sometimes and then again the mouth it gives you you know lips and internals but again when when you shuffle them out definitely check because you'll see how how much it's it's actually doing right um so for for the face layer it's actually doing skin nose hair and neck right so it, it's doing quite a bit and then eyes, it's just eye left and eye right, eyebrow same. But then for mouth, you have you know the inside and the lips. But there's more layers, right? So if we look at at this other example here, right, um, you can s extract stuff like accessories, right? And that's pretty neat. Like you can just grab a, a quick alpha of some sunglasses or hat or earrings. Like if we look here at accessories, you see we have hat, eyeglasses necklace, earrings, and again, uh, very, very good to test stuff out. So I'd, I'd highly uh, encourage you to go out and download it, test it, and play around with it, and just uh, always keep it on the back of your mind because it can become a big time saver.